Okay, this will be an interesting one. It's a very popular um, thing we have here. It's very cute. I must say it's cute, but it's really it's been around for decades. 100 years, I think. It's, I think she's had a 100th anniversary. So we're going to do here 400. I'm going to make this look in interesting. I wonder if we're going to make it negative positive for this to make it more interesting than what it would normally be in positive, make it look really different from the original. So to make it more interesting. I'm gonna leave it on red. See how we, actually we can't use contrast. I've got to use the brightness. So you can't use contrast with brightness. Going all the way with the hue. So let's see if we can make this traditional piece of work. It's very popular. Good for little children. A cute little little thing it is. Oh, right, let's see what it is. It is. It says State Library, but it's the Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie. So, yeah. May Gibbs. Or whatever her name was yeah snuggle pot and cuddle pie very popular uh, for little children especially uh, I'm gonna put that on the glass like so I'm gonna just make sure we don't have that edge there but we're gonna make this oops I've pushed it down too far damn it Have to try and line that up properly I think we're just gonna line that up just a bit it's not easy. Just going to quickly play with the buttons while we're at it. I'm just going to line, line that up with the edge. But yeah, she's. I think she's dead now, uh, Mae Gibbs, um, the author of the Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie. They are kind of cute. I guess you could say they're timeless. So let's see if we've made this look good. Gonna have to enlarge it more. I'm, I'm a, yeah, anyway, that looks interesting. Uh, it doesn't look all that good. It definitely doesn't bring justice to this piece of work of hers. I think we could do a lot better than that, to be honest. So now we're just gonna gonna just change things around. I think. going to do background removal plus two uh, just wondering going to leave out the background color for this and the hue is too is too cold and we're just going to leave it like that and try again May Gibbs indeed Alright, out it comes. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that looks good. That actually looks good without the background colour in it anyway. So now we have to enlarge it a bit bigger to get rid of that. And that does look nice. The colours in that are exquisite. So we're just going to uh, take this and oh, maybe I'll keep it, give it to somebody as a bookmark. It's too beautiful to put on the uh, recycle pile I'm afraid <laughs> so we're just gonna go and switch to copied paper and we're gonna maybe how should we do this maybe enlarge it how big are we gonna enlarge it though um, 141.4 percent maybe which is a3 a4 to a3 or b5 to a5 to A4. We're doing an A5 to A4. I think we'll do that. So we're just lining up these edges. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Like a lot of the time I do my demos. Um, I'm just going to go here. I got a gut feeling it's probably going to be too big. 
Now we're just going to remove the negative positive stuff. Going to just switch off all the things that we don't need. Uh, the red is going to the centre and the hues in the centre. The brightness, we're just going to lighten it up a bit. Um, going to put it in the middle, stuff it. So we're just going to keep it at that and see how we go. I've got a feeling we might have to make one of the one of them a bit smaller on the one of the um, in the X or the Y. I think the Y has got to be smaller, otherwise we're going to lose too much of the the gum nut babies in this picture. But I could be wrong. That actually looks good, and the colours are really iridescent. Uh, I'm wondering where the centre of this is going to be, but that looks really quite nice. Actually, it's quite a good. Uh, even if I say so myself, reimagining of the gun, the original gum nut babies. We've even got um, a gum nut baby. I think there's a mural in my local suburb or near my suburb where I live, in, near. Um, Neutral Bay, I think it is, or in Neutral Bay, there's a, a May Gibbs uh, mural or something. I can't remember off the top of my head. I wish I paid more attention. Uh, we're just going to switch over here. Just going to switch that to original size. Gonna go just, just because this is an odd size original that we're working with and also the enlargement in relation to it. So we now switched on the mirror image and we're going to pump off too. I don't think May Gibbs is alive anymore. I think she died. So I hope she, well, hopefully she's in a better place. I'm hoping. Um, so maybe one day when I go to a better place, I might meet her. Maybe. That would be nice. She seems like a nice kind of a person. Not a snooty type of artist, from what I can tell. A lot of artists, you get the feeling the art world's full of clicks and snootiness and all that sort of shit. Uh, May Gibbs doesn't seem to come across as being that kind of person. Don't get me wrong, I don't know. I don't know her. I've never met her or anything. and But, I, but she just doesn't come across as that kind of an artist that's self selfishness but anyway enough about that that looks really nice i think now we can call this one quits